This is ECX, a super small, easily affordable OLED micro display. It comes with the driver board, which is equipped with micro HDMI input. And this is my custom version of this board. It's very similar to the original one, but it has better heat management and some board outline changes. There are many augmented reality glasses that use this kind of display and bear buff optics. I've decided that today I will make my own holographic display using ECX and premium optics. This video was sponsored by JLC PCB. Hello everyone, today I've got something very special. I think it's finally time to do some work with the Berwaf optics. I actually have two different sets and both of them come from the commercially available glasses. You may have seen in my older videos the whole teardown process of the Viture Pro glasses. The teardown process led me with some really cool stuff, but the main takeaway from that is that I now have two sets of the fully functional Berwaf optics. I also have the Rocket Max modules but I won't be using them, since it's a nightmare to open them up. The Feature Pro optics are super easy to remove and can be used with various displays, which makes them a perfect candidate for this project. I've got this small display right here, which uses the composite video input. I don't have the ECX driver board at the moment, so this will have to do. I will connect the display to my Raspberry Pi compute unit. You may have seen it in my other video. I've already removed the battery, so I will simply use the charger port instead. I've put the display on top of the optics, so you can more or less get an idea how it works. The image isn't super clear right now, and that's because there is no magnifier in between the optics and the display. But you can more or less see the image. I have two sets of the optics, but for this video I will be using only one set. Of course I still have the original magnifier. I will definitely need it later on. And here is my ECX drawer. Inside I've got a couple of cool things, like two brand new ECX displays, broken OLED panel and various PCBs. I've already removed all of the metal parts from the display, which pretty much leaves me only with the plastic optics. On top there are a couple of holes that I will use to mount the 3D printed part. Here you can see the first prototype, which was heavily based on the metal parts. However, it won't work with the ECX333 display, since that display is bigger than the original one. I changed the plastic shape a little bit, so that it will better match the optical module. As you can see, it's way more ergonomic now. Now let's remove the old part and install the brand new one. It of course uses Philips screws, which makes it super easy to install. It looks quite alright now. So now let's grab one of the ECX displays and let's see what I can do with it. I also have couple of spare displays just in case. I've started by removing the magnifier assembly. It was pretty easy, since it was being held only by metal pins. As you can see the display is working fine. On the screen you can see my Windows desktop. The display itself won't actually fit in the optical module. That's because there is a ton of plastic around the display. I will bypass this by slightly cutting the plastic around the optical module. The plastic is super soft, so no problems here. This place should now fit inside the optical module without any issues. The whole assembly, of course, needs a magnifier. For this I will use the original Rocket one. It should work perfectly with the ECX display. I've had to use hot glue to secure both pieces in place. It's very important that the magnifier don't move. Just a quick check with my PC and everything seems to be working fine. It's difficult to capture the image with my camera, but I can easily see that Windows desktop with my naked eye. Now let's see how it works with the optical module. You can't really see much. I guess that's because the magnifier is not close enough to the display. It seems I will have to remove all of the black plastic around the ECX display. I've already done this before, so I can show you how it's supposed to look. As you can see, the display itself is actually pretty small. I will have to design some sort of plastic cradle which will hold the display in the perfect position above the optical module. As you can see, the bare display can be easily installed way closer to the magnifier. This is perfect since I can adjust the magnification. So now let's actually remove the plastic around the display. 
This is a very difficult process and you can easily cut your finger open. So don't try this if you don't know what you're doing. The first patch of the plastic is now removed. I've connected it to my PC to check if it still works. I've removed some more of the black plastic and I can now wiggle my display out of the black enclosure. This place seems to be in perfect condition. I don't think I've damaged anything. Now I should be able to glue the magnifier as close as I want. I've designed this small plastic spacer which will hold both pieces at perfect optical length. But first, let's order the custom driver board. I've designed my PCB in Fusion 360. It's based on the original AliExpress board and it has all of the connections required for it to work. With the design pretty much ready, I will now prepare the Gerber files. It's a super simple process since everything is being done automatically with the use of the JLC PCB CAM file. You basically open the CAM file, click on the process job button and that's it. You are now ready to order the PCBs. You can also get the Gerber files on my Patreon page. Those are ready for the PCB manufacturing. Now we can open the JLC PCB website and order the boards. Just click add Gerber file and select the correct zip file. This process is fully automated as well. You don't need any technical knowledge to order the PCBs. You can of course change the board color and thickness. As you can see the price is super affordable. So now you can click save to cart and place the order. Here you can select the shipping address and select the shipping method. After that select review before payment and submit order. So the package arrived very fast as always. It took about one week to arrive at my home all the way from China. Of course everything was safely packaged in nice blue cardboard box. Each board design is packaged separately, which makes sure you keep track on which board is which in case you order multiple boards at once. The boards of course are top notch quality. You can clearly see all of the traces, even the smallest ones. They also did a great job on the solder mask, which is sharp and easily readable. Here we can see the new board compared to the 0.1 version, which is the closest to the original one. Both of these boards are designed by me, and of course both of them are based on the AliExpress design. However, there are some slight changes, which makes those boards not a one-to-one -one copy. So as usual, I will start the transferring process by coating whole board with flux. I will be using of course the old components from the original AliExpress board, since the microcontroller that is driving the main chip has some kind of software on it that cannot be replicated. Of course you can buy the same chip without the software, but it's impossible to copy the software part itself. You could of course write the software yourself, but I don't really know how, so... After coating all of the parts with solder, I can now start transferring the parts using my hotter station. On the right you can see the old board, which has all of the original components soldered to it. I will now transfer all of the parts to the new PCB and we'll see how it performs. Soldering with the hotter station is super easy, but some parts like FFC connector I will have to solder manually using regular soldering iron since those will melt very easily using hotter. And here is the fully soldered board. I must say it looks quite amazing. It still has a pretty weird shape, but I'm constantly working on it. I'm trying to make it as slim as possible so that it would be easier to mount them on the glasses temple. I've prepared this small plastic jig which holds both magnifier and the display together. It has perfect focal length for the bare buff optics. Now let's assemble the module and see how it works. The assembly is super easy. You basically combine both pieces and secure them with screws. And here is the complete unit. We can now connect it to the driver board and see how it performs. The display is now connected to my PC. As you can see, the Windows desktop is now easily visible. All of the system text is easily readable and nothing causes any eye strain. I think I will have to slightly modify the plastic bits since the ribbon cable is super fragile and I don't want to damage it. I figured I can make a simple PCB holder on top of the display. From this point forward, I will be using my own custom driver board. So all of the plastic pieces will be designed specifically for this. I've connected my display driver board and I am now ready to continue. I really like how it turned out. And here is my idea for the plastic pieces. I want to install the PCB on a slight angle so that it uses as little space as possible. I've printed this small holder right here which will test if all of the dimensions are correct. As you can see my PCB slides in perfectly. 
I will now connect my display and after it's connected I will combine both plastic pieces. I actually use my soldering iron to melt both pieces shut. It's absolutely the easiest way to combine any plastic parts. And just like that the module is now finished. So let's connect it and see how it works. The display is connected the same way as before. It uses only one micro HDMI cable for both video and power. As you can see everything is perfectly visible. Nothing is blurry and the text is easily readable. And you can even play games on it. The refresh rate is pretty good so everything runs smoothly. Also nothing is visible from outside so no one actually knows what you are looking into. It might not be super visible in direct sunlight but for first try I'm super satisfied with it. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching everyone and hope to see you in the next video. And as always huge thanks to my patrons. Thank you and goodbye.